portrait and then a couch so you can watch your TV from the couch and then you have um, over here we have the air conditioning little plant and some beautiful drapery these doors open out onto a balcony I'll be showing you guys that shortly as I walk that's the door the main entrance immediately you enter on your left you will see a tiny kitchenette um, simple and uh, well equipped let me show you guys what I was snacking on throughout my stay in Bangkok in the morning these wonderful snacks called pokey like these pokey snacks were just the best like you eat one and you keep going and going and going and going it's like a stick it's like a wafer kind of stick which is di dipped in uh, either chocolate for example this is dipped in chocolate and then this was dipped in uh, strawberries as you can see uh, yeah so strawberry cream and chocolate cream so that was that was the bomb after the snacks we have a kitchen sink a stainless steel a kitchen sink a round one um, then next to the kitchen sink is this uh, flat plate electric cooker it has a it's a touch it's a touch touch pad and uh, right above the electric cooker is the hood and that's the hood or the extractor in the fridge you have of course water water is always complimentary so I had lots of complimentary water I also had um, sodas and uh, some glasses inside um, floor to ceiling doors and it just opens up to a residential area and you see really just buildings upon buildings upon buildings on the background skyscrapers and then here you have a tiny little cute balcony space where you can sit and chill and read and um, I didn't get a lot of time I didn't get a chance to really chill out here for long because uh, I came during the rainy season it was raining a lot and anyway I was constantly doing something constantly busy few plants a huge huge terrace a huge terrace which just is really just nice to walk out into and just look around and see the city what the rest of the room looks like and of course up is more uh, rooms and down is more rooms. so as you can see it's just a townhouse like the one next to it that was renovated and redesigned and redecorated for and transformed into a studio so after the outside area uh, we were going to see now the bedroom which is the, my favorite part of this uh, studio apartment uh, simply walk straight ahead from the main entrance door and that's the door and you slide and voila opens into the the kitchen opens into the bedroom very beautiful i love how my favorite part the bedroom so walking into the bedroom the first thing that strikes you is these two beautiful uh cushions they are beautifully decorated with like a gold uh paint on it then this wonderful 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 accent wall then on the side you have your cabinets your wardrobe the bed does not come with a headboard but the accent wall really acts as a beautiful headboard because the rest of the walls in the room are white and gray wall which is textured really just acts as a as a headboard and you don't need a headboard so the ma the mattress just goes all the way straight into the wall socket very crucial 
other side of the bed you have this beautiful lamp that goes from ceiling all the way down and lights up your nightstand you have two windows with blinds and your air conditioning they also have a mirror it's not a full-length mirror unfortunately I was not so happy about that that's me hi <laughs> it's not a full-length mirror but um, it did well because you can sort of see your feet but when you see your feet this table here sort of blocks so maybe they could consider putting in a full-length mirror then of course this acts as a dressing table and a study desk this table that doubles up as a dresser is just one long wooden plank or laminate plank which has no support its only support is the two walls that you're seeing that wall and that wall there makes it look really neat and clean and a nice finish then outside it opens up again to the balcony it's a door from the inside so a nice maybe if you feel like you still want to have complete silence because sometimes maybe um, when someone is going uh, past the corridor you can hear footsteps so if you want complete silence simply slide the door back in like that and you have your privacy straight ahead is the bathroom the wash basin is rectangular you have this beautiful mirror um, and then next uh, you have a faucet lovely faucet and of course it's a mixer then here you have a small socket uh, for your shaver or blow dryer or electrical equipment that you want to use and the mirror light and then right next to the wash basin is your toilet next to the toilet is your tissue roll and shower head movable shower head and what I really love are these uh, floorboards of course they're laminate floorboards which can be used in uh, water they're waterproof you have your soap and your shampoo and it says Ceylon Studios it's branded that's also real cute I have a towel rack and that's it and then as you walk out of course you have the extractor door because it has this detail that adds so much and this gray stripe white and gray stripe goes all the way into the ceiling like that as you can see all the way into the ceiling to the wall and on to the floor like that isn't that beautiful excuse my toes that goes all the way into the floor so I hope you enjoyed my studio apartment tour and I hope that um, you would be coming to Salem Studio soon. It's really great, the service is great, the manager and um, his sister are great. They really have something good going on here and it really, you, you might get a bit um, thrown off by the surrounding as you're coming in uh, from Saladang road and you might feel like is this the right place because on the internet it looks very different from its surrounding but with time you come to appreciate the surrounding because you feel like you're more in a residential area and you feel how Thai people really live like authentic Thai people your everyday Thai person how they live and also right next to uh, Silom is the BTS SkyTrain and Ceylon complex which to me that's super convenient there's so many restaurants on the way so many um, shops and kiosks on the way so many um, street food vendors on the way who have this amazing uh, 
spicy delicious street food which you don't really have to go to a restaurant if you're if you're trying to really save on food you can really budget and save on so much by staying at Salem Studios um, I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment share like and subscribe and please uh, I'd love to hear more about what you think and I'd love to know where did you stay when you're in Bangkok please share in the comment section below and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.